Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Body Armor. We're gonna do a little special video for you to show you how to install the trail doors on a JK. This in front of us, we have a 2017 JK Unlimited and uh, white, which is gonna look great with the trail doors. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna start the process. Okay, the first step in installing trail doors is we gotta get the factory doors off. So what we recommend, open it up, take the windows down to protect them. Now that we have the window down, we can unplug the harness that controls the, the window, the door locks, and everything else. Unplug the harness, and then take off the limiting strap. Always tuck it here into the door net, because that way it doesn't get damaged when you take it off. Got the pins off, mirror fold away, mirrors, windows down, now we're gonna take the door off. Grab underneath, and it's gonna take some motivation. And that's it. Now that we got the front doors off, let's jump onto the rear. You can see where we have the, the windows rolled down. Now we're gonna go inside to the B pillar and there's a panel you undo. That's where you access your, uh, your wiring harness and your release so you can pull the door off. Now we're inside the Jeep. Here's that access panel I talked about on the B pillar. Move the seat for front seat forward so you can get access to it. Pull down, pop it out. Gives you access to the wiring harness. There's a squeeze button, pull on it. Undo your loop, pull it through. Just like on the front door, we'll tuck it into the mesh that's on the door. Come around, reach underneath, and lift off. Here we are, we have the uh, pre-assembled door, trail door ready to go on the Jeep. You fit it into your hinge, and you see how it's bouncing around? Well, once you get it and it's not closing, we got vertical adjustment on the latch. You've got adjustments in the pins here to get everything to line up. Keep it loose, get everything lined up, tighten what's on the vehicle, and then you should be good to go. Okay, here we are. We've got the door all tightened up, lined up. You'll notice something. We've got our mirrors installed. This is our 5126 mirror kit. What's cool about using these mirrors, keep your factory mirrors on your doors, on your factory doors, put these on. It makes the switch out real easy. Fold it out, you're good to go. The door's on, pins are down, Latch is lined up nice and tight. Next step, webbing. You notice we have padding, top and bottom. Lay the padding over the top rail, lay it over the bottom rail, and then we have Velcro to secure it. Top and bottom. One last adjustment, we got these little loops to go on our speed gussets. We got it on the back as well, keeps it nice and tight. What's really cool about this webbing, it looks cool, but no branches are gonna come and get you when you're on the trail. Here we are on the rear door. Um, we're doing the final installation. We've adjusted to fit. Closes beautiful, as you can see. We're gonna install the webbing and the bolts. Put these back on all four doors to secure it to the vehicle. Beginning, you see the padding goes over the top. Velcro's on the bottom. Velcro in the loop. Two Velcros on the back. Again, just to keep it nice and tight. So when you're driving on the road, on the trail, it doesn't flap around. One other thing to notice, logos are on the front. So if you do your front door, make sure your logo's on the front, that way you have it on the correct door. All right, you see we got the driver's side all done. Mirrors installed, webbing installed. Looks great on this white Jeep. Next project, other side. Same process, just repeated.